well hello guys welcome to my channel now we are going to play red dead redemption 2 well arthur and his mates they came from valentine and they are right now in roads they are keeping the low profile to make sure that they are safe so far they are good they are being on the right side of the law hopefully everything works let's see Thanks for being here guys, your support is what that keeps me going, give me your support and I'll try to give the best content as possible. Okay, let's go, um, which one to pick, let's see. I don't understand that lawman get up. Evening, Arthur. Uh. Evening. Oh, say whatever you damn well please, but I tell you, if I don't get out of here soon, I'm gonna kill somebody. And if you don't stop hissing at me, I'm gonna kill you. You come near me, sailor, and I'll slice you up. You put that knife down, or you're gonna be missing well, the same old wrong wrong and wife, but... I ain't chopping vegetables for a living. Oh, I'm sorry, madam. Was there insufficient feathers in your pillow? I ain't lazy, Mr. Morgan. I'll work, but not this. Well, I ain't cooking work. My husband and I, we shared the work. All of it. I was out in the fields. I can hunt, carry a knife, or use a gun. But I tell you, you keep me here... I'll skin this fat old coot and serve him for dinner! Watch your damn mouth, you crazy goddamn fishwife! <laughs> Nerf, both of you! <laughs> well, come with me then. You wanna head out there? Run with the man? So be it. But we do more than just hunting. We're hunted. And them things hunting us, well, they got guns of their own. I ain't afraid of dying. Good. You need anything, Mr. Pearson? Maybe me and Mrs. Zad are gonna take a little ride. Yeah, sure. Here's my list, and can you post this letter for me while you're there? Sure. Come on, princess. Are you coming with me then, woman? So I've graduated from chopping vegetables to shopping. Shut your goddamn mouth. You cool down then yet? I guess. No, I ain't no scullion. And I sure as hell ain't taking orders from that sweat halfwit. I guess we all gotta do our share, Princess. Huh. Where's that letter? Are you reading his mail now? Oh, robbing and killing's okay, but letter reading's where we draw the line. Mm -hmm. There. <clears throat> Dear Aunt Kathy. You are something else. I haven't heard from you in some time, so I pray to the Lord above that your health has not deteriorated further. Blah, blah, blah. Boring. Ooh. <laughs> Wait a sec. Listen to this. Since we last corresponded, I have traveled widely, making no small name for myself. <laughs> Before you ask, I am still yet to take a wife, but I can assure you it's not for a lack of suitors. <laughs> He ever actually even talked to a woman he ain't paid for? Oh, look. We're all hiding behind something. <laughs> and what's this? Return to Tacitus Kilgore. Oh, that. Now that's Dutch's idea. All mailed and sent to the same alias. Whenever we set up somewhere new, Strauss, he heads into town. Tells him to start expecting mail from a Tacitus Kilgore, whatever they changed it to. <laughs> Here, give me that back. We got work to do. Okay. 
Here we are. So, what's the plan? I shoot the shopkeeper while you... No! Are you insane? Well, I thought we was outlaws. Outlaws. Not idiots. We rob fools that rob other people. These people, they're just trying to get by. So you head on in there and you buy some food to eat. No guns. For sure. This time, there'll be time for killing soon enough. What are you doing? I'm gonna go check the mail. Nothing exciting. Well, Arthur Morgan is trying to be friendly with everyone, but this lady is trying to mess everything up. First time entering this post office. Christ! Sir, good morning. Can I help you, mister? Yes, I would like to post a letter. All right. Okay, no trouble. Thank you. Bye now. I'm trying. Try harder. I think this is everything. Thanks. Here. Take that for yourself, okay? Thanks. Well, give it back then. Jesus. I didn't ask for his goddamn help. Why don't you drive? Okay. Come on, lady, get a move on. I like Sadie, not lady. I know. So, you get everything? I think so. And some new clothes, I see. Don't start. I can wear what I damn well want. Like I told you, my husband and I shared all the work. I wasn't some little wife with a flower in her hair making cherry pies all day. Yeah, I don't doubt that. You sure look the part now. Won't be long before you're smoking cigars and playing the harmonica. I'll have you know, I used to love playing the harmonica before. Well, my house and everything I own got burned to the ground. I know. I'm real sorry about what you, uh, you know. Maybe I'll keep my eye out for another one. I don't want no pity. Just treat me equal and no. Nobody's taking nothing from me ever again. Mm -hmm. Just don't kill the camp cook. Please. Hey there! Hey. What, uh... What you folks up to? Just heading home. You're in Lemoyne Raider country. Keep it cool. Steve. You need to pay a toll to pass through here. No, I don't think so. You don't think so? How about you pull over right now? Pull over? That's what I said. Hey, how's about this? No! Go, go, go! God damn it! Get moving now! Whoa! You can try shooting at him! Like I said, she is bringing trouble. I don't remember. 
shooting. All right, I'll drive us back. No, past those range here. Why? Because you you've caused enough trouble already. I'm fine. Yeah. We show no bastards, huh? Remind me not to get on your bad side. And they was clearly planning to bushwhack us. You did good. But that's a lot of mess to make near camp. Not so fast, Arthur. Hope it don't bring anyone sniffing around. Are you gonna tell Dutch? Maybe. If he asks. But... Maybe not. Careful now. Yep. So who do they say they were? Lemoyne Raiders? Yeah. I've run into them before. Some local gang. Don't seem to have grown out of playing soldiers. Anyway. Don't you go upsetting Pearson about that letter. How dare you? I wouldn't dream of it. Right, you wouldn't. I have traveled widely, making no small name for myself. I won't be giving you no mail to post anytime soon, that's for sure. <laughs> I just want to peek in that journal of yours. The mind boggles. You didn't get yourself killed then, Miss Adler. Not quite. <laughs> well, I'd like to say I missed your refined conversations, but I'd be lying. I... I enjoyed myself out there. Yes, we, uh, Mrs. Adler did okay. At shopping? Yes, at shopping. Thank you, Mr. Morgan. Don't mention it. I would ride with you again, Mrs. Adler, if you will ride with me. Maybe, <laughs> if you prove you can handle yourself. Well, they say I lack finesse, but I ain't afraid of gun smoke. <laughs> <sighs> we got this, Arthur. You've already done me a big favor today. Okay, Miss High and Mighty. And nice pants, by the way. Oh, shut up. Arthur. Hey, Arthur. Can I have a quick word? Yes, Miss O'Shea. Ah, call me Molly, would you? Oh. Arthur, how is Dutch? I mean, how does he seem to you? I'm about the same as usual, I guess. I... I really love him, you know. But if he... Like he always says, loyalty is everything, so... Arthur! Excuse me, Miss O'Shea. What you want? I bring a gift. The great gift of information. So you got some tip-off, so now... I can yeah. risk my neck and make you some money while you lounge around. You know, Arthur, bitterness, it, it works on the inside as well as on your sour face. If you say so, but you could go find some other fool to run your errands. Bill, come on over here. Will you be my other fool? You too, Charles. What are you talking about? Arthur's above a little stick-up I heard about. No, I'm not. You just said... Hey, I'll do it, as long as you ride with us. <laughs> well, I got a serious medical condition. Yes, you are a compulsive liar. No need to be like that. Charles, have I ever lied to you? I hardly know you. Exactly. Now, you boys should do this. It's easy, and I'll only take a small commission for my information. But it's now or never. Then it's never. Oh, God help me. Fine. I'll do it. <laughs> well, what is it? It's a supply wagon carrying payroll, but... Very briefly unguarded, apparently. As it passes through a crossroads near here where there's an old ruined church before it connects with the rest of the wagon train. Very easy picking. As long as we get paid or you get shot, I'm happy. You are a sick man, Arthur Morgan. A very sick man indeed. This way. Bunch of smart Alex. How you get wind of this old man? We only been down here all five minutes. Well, while you boys went off fishing or playing lawman or whatever the hell you've been doing, I've been getting down to business. <laughs> Finding the nearest grog house. Hey, you don't want in on this, Williamson. That's fine by me. Do us all What are you her. doing? Head home. Just give it a rest, you two. Just have a little faith for once, will you? I 
I've been scoping jobs like this since you fellers were knee-high to a grasshopper. Once a decade, maybe. So what is it you scoped here, exactly? Okay, hold up here. We should cover our faces. Well, they'll be past... ...through the crossroads up ahead. When? Soon, Williamson. Christ's sakes. I should be due any time now. Let's keep this quiet and clean. Nobody needs to die here. There! You see, gentlemen? <laughs> Just like clockwork. <laughs> Boys, I, I don't, I don't want to get shot, but this is a mistake. I work for Cornwall Kerosene and Tar, Mr. Leviticus Cornwall. Oh, great. So you know him? <laughs> Who doesn't? I hear he's rich enough to share the wealth around and not miss it too much. Oh, he'll miss it. Okay, why don't you check out around the back? Arthur, help me out here. A lot quicker if someone helped me. Uh, let's see what's inside. <clears throat> okay, we're looking good. Must be nearly a thousand now. Shit! Hey! Think I see something! Oh, uh, great. Oh, looks let's like go. they got Arthur, company. Let's go! Out of sight. Stay until dark, and then we'll sneak out of here. Charles, you keep watch for now. Sure. Well, we uh, get some rest. Yeah. All right. <clears throat> Let's try and get out of here. Hey, shit. Absolutely. Well, shut up, old man. Well, look, I was just trying to... Shut up. There's a light over by the house. Damn. Get out of here. Let's just keep this calm. See what happens. Is this your place? Kinda. Uh, and you didn't hear nothing? I... 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 
Why don't you just tell me, partner, what you heard? Clint, Clint, tell me what you heard. I don't... Uh, maybe I heard some noises out by the barn a while ago. It ain't me. It better not be. Oh my god. Alright. They might come to the barn now. Lo, go check out the, the barn. Sir. Place looks deserted enough. Sure. You head inside, I'll go around the back. Get in there. 
try to confuse them. Arthur, with me. Yeah, I'll deal with you later. We got some money, didn't we? Sure, but now we got corn on our backs. It was an honest mistake. Hey, leave it, Gwonk. Get out of here. Every man split up, Gwonk. Run, quick. Good luck, Jens. Stay quiet and move.
okay? Settle down there. You ain't got no good reason. Why don't you mind your business and keep walking, huh? Bad hole. Hope you boys chose a full safe.
Hey, uh, I was hoping you'd talk a moment. I'm a student of the history of the region, and, uh... I ain't the one to speak to. Try Master Bo. Think he's down there by the wood store. Boy's got all the time in the world. I'll see you at the sheriff's office. Excuse me, friend. We friends? Not yet, but he is hoping. I guess. We don't get a lot of traveling men here. Then suddenly, there's a whole phalanx of mysterious but strangely helpful Yankees about the place. Is there? What are you doing here? I was just looking for work. Well, looking for something. Don't worry, your secret's safe with me. What secret? I got a secret of my own. Are you secretly normal? Excuse me? Never mind. The thing is, I don't care if you kill the whole lot of us and the Braithwaites. I don't want to kill anyone. I love her, you know. <laughs> love who? Penelope. But it's impossible. Well, love tends to be complicated. She's a Braithwaite. I'm Bo Gray, son of Tavish Gray, nephew of Lee Gray, the sheriff, grandson of old Murdo Gray. We Greys have been loyal to the state and murderers to the Braithwaites for so long now, no one can even quite explain why. Beyond blind loyalty and stupidity, I'm supposed to be loyal to some nonsense while she... She's amazing. She's like a woman from the future. She's like tomorrow, if tomorrow turns out fine. Well, I'm sorry for your predicament. Would you help? I don't want to get involved in <laughs> gang feuds. Seems unseemly. I'll pay. I've got money. We Greys, we've always got money. No brains, mind, but money. Well, in that case... I know she loves to sit out in the gazebo on the edge of the Braithwaite property. Take her this letter and this bracelet, please. Oh, look out for their guards. They're worse with strangers than ours are.
Someone's sneaking on the property. This is a private plantation. Get out of here now. Hey, hey, I'm just a tourist. Are you Penelope Braithwaite? Well, yes, I am. I've got a letter for you. Oh. And a gift. <laughs> a letter and a gift. Well, we don't even know each other. <laughs> well, mm -hmm. it's not from me. It's from... Uh... From Bo. <gasps> oh, he is so... Strange? <laughs> yes, he's a little strange, but also so human. The rest of our families are stuck in the Dark Ages or... Well, I don't know, cave people, perhaps. Bo's different. But if they find out, they'll kill him and send me to live someplace awful like Ohio. Have you ever been to Ohio, sir? No. Well, neither have I, but my uncle has a factory there. He was sort of the black sheep on account of having left. But now they tolerate him because he's a vicious snob. Families are, are, there's something else. <laughs> you got a family, sir? No, not really. Well, they tolerate him because of the money. But me, with my ideas above my station, they can't stand. That sounds pretty complicated. I, I don't know quite what to say. Well, nothing to say, except I hope they all rot. I don't, I, well, maybe a bit, but here. If you see Bo again, will you give this to him? Sure.
Family business coming through. You're good. You got my money? Sure. Did she give anything? For me? Yes. Might I have it? Sure. But it'll cost you. Ah, <laughs> uh, I can't be bothered. Here, take it. Oh, thank you, Arthur. You'll... Thank you. My God. What a woman. She's... This'll get her killed, for sure. What? Women's suffrage. Around here, they don't even like men voting. They bring back the monarchy, given half the chance. Progress is a dirty word in these parts. Unlike incest. Excuse me? I don't want to marry my cousin Matilda. I want to marry Penelope. But they're gonna... They'll kill her at one of those rallies they're holding. They've done it before. Mr. You gotta help. No, I'm afraid I don't want no part of it. I'll pay. My family, we've still got some money. Fine. Just no more running around with letters. Thank you. Come on. We better get going. 